Good morning, guys. I thought today I would show you kind of a day in the life of a carnivore mom. I'm a new mom and um, I'm gonna show you lots of tips and tricks about doing carnivore. I'm on week three of back to, you know, no sugar, really strict for me, carnivore. Some people argue that it's not strict enough, but it's strict for me. So I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and we're gonna get started with lots of good things for you to know about carnivore. So. Stay tuned. We have to change the baby. He likes to be changed a lot overnight. Right now we're sleeping kind of in our bonus room. It's a sunroom and he has his hatch up there for his sound machine. It's kind of our extra room. We have a TV. So we watch a lot of TV at night when we're nursing. I have some orange bulbs in here that won't um, bother him while he's sleeping. So it's really good for circadian rhythms and all that. Okay, now I'm in my rocking chair. This is where I feed the baby almost every hour <laughs> or more. Um, he likes to eat a lot and he's growing so big. We can actually go to the pediatrician today. My pediatrician is actually a nurse practitioner and she's gonna check him out and weigh him and everything. So we're so excited to go and see how he's doing. So usually for the first hour of the day or so, I nursing, I spend a lot of my time nursing the baby and I like to make my coffee drink decaf coffee I have my coffee here this is my coffee I can show you how I make it in a minute my little buddy loves to be held he doesn't want to ever be put down <laughs> so he takes lots of naps in my arms after nursing he's doing better he sleeps in his bassinet for about three hours at a time through the night, so I've been up a lot. He usually gets up three times, two to three times every night, and I nurse him and sometimes hold him afterwards for a while. I do put him in the swaddle and that seems to help, and he is getting better and better on the sleep, so I'm getting more sleep, but every t once in a while we have a bad night, but it is getting better, so I'm hopeful that soon he will sleep through the night. He's only two months now, so hopefully we're getting there to sleep all the way through the night but we'll see <clears throat> he's just he used to get up every hour so things are improving so weight loss and recovery from major surgery and losing baby weight does not happen if you are very stressed and you have if you don't sleep you have leptin resistance you will be very slow to lose weight and you'll be more hungry and it's hard to control your cravings and all that stuff. So it's really important to sleep as much as you can for a new mom. And I get lots of help. I have relatives that will watch my baby and let me take naps and things like that um, pretty often. So I will definitely take advantage of those times to catch up on my sleep. Okay, so this is how I do my coffee. I take a tablespoon of ghee. and a tablespoon of gelatin, then vanilla. Put it on low. And you can see that makes a really frothy cup of coffee. This is decaf and all the links are down in the description box for what I drink. Make sure you stay tuned all the way to the very end so you can see my progress report from this week. Is, I have my haka here. So I get my overflow milk and I pour it into these. So that's what I do over the night. And then I have extra for when other people watch my baby, I can let them feed him. And I move on to breakfast. First things first, get everything ready. This is my favorite pan. And those are some pastured eggs from my farmer's market. I got my ghee, some goat cheese. So I'm gonna make scrambled eggs and goat cheese so this is kind of a go-to high fat thing I make for breakfast. Since I am nursing, I like to um, eat breakfast. I'm pretty hungry when I wake up, but I don't have to eat. I mean, now I've been up for like three hours. So I put my ghee in the pan and then I um, scramble the eggs too. With my eggs and I'm gonna pour them in this I'll pan. Pour them in the pan. I only have one hand because my baby is here. So I have it on six and you want to add a little salt too, some salt in there. Um, this is just some sea salt that I got at 
Holly Marshalls. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna do an omelet instead. So when you do an omelet, you just wanna lift. Then it'll be easier to flip when you get some of it underneath. <laughs> it's really hard to do it with one hand. And then I've chopped my goat cheese up over here. So it'll be ready when I want to put it on. I've got my cooking buddy here. <laughs> okay, it's looking like it's ready to flip. So hopefully I can do it with one hand. Ooh. And then you just put your goat cheese in. You really don't want to wait very long because it's probably just turn off the heat now. And then you can fold it over and it will melt in there. Okay, now you just slide it onto your plate and you can see it's starting to melt. Mm, so excited to eat this. It's my favorite. Mm. The second course of my breakfast is this is some turkey bacon. I don't really eat pork, so this is my turkey bacon. This is from Costco, it's Columbus brand. This is the package, it only has turkey. So that's pretty cool. It doesn't have a bunch of weird ingredients and it's pretty crispy. I like it. He's doing his thing over there. It's so big now. Hi guys, at least once a day we go around my neighborhood. I have on my carrier and it's really great for walking. The baby will sleep while I am walking and it's a great way to get exercise and you know, get rid of stress and get away from all those EMFs. So we got back from the doctor, everything's great. He's in the 95 percentile for height and weight. So he's doing so good. His two month checkup. And then we went to Buffalo Wild Wings and we got wings. They have, supposedly they cook them in beef tallow. So my mom got six wings and I got a Buffalo blue cheeseburger, but I just got the blue cheese and the, and the burgers, no sauce. And it was pretty good. I wanted to say thank you to Laura Spath for our gift card. Thanks so much, Laura. So sweet. I'm gonna make dinner now. I got this. This is one pound, it's a three pack. And I got this at Whole Foods. It's pasture raised, it's step four from Whole Foods. And I'm just gonna put it in here. I use the pan several times when I cook the same thing because you can just kind of wipe it out. Oh, I just feel like a smashed burger kind of thing. I don't really care what it looks like. Put some salt and then I just put some sea salt. This is 80 20, like I was saying. Mm. I can save that other six ounces for tomorrow because I'm not super hungry. Okay, thank you, mind. I'm going to eat all three because if I don't, then I'll just get hungry for something else later. So, might as well just go ahead and eat them all. Now it's all ready. I'm so excited to eat. Okay, so I just wanted to check in. I have not really lost any weight this week. It's been kind of discouraging. The baby's had a cold and I've been eating too much cheese. I haven't hardly gotten any sleep. So it's been a little tough, but I've been staying really good. Like one day my husband ate some ice cream and I really wanted it, but I didn't. I said, no, I'm doing my thing and I'm not gonna cave for that. And um, so I've been sticking with it really well, no sugar, no extra things. So I'm really proud of myself. I think my body's still adjusting. My digestion's still a little off. So I've been taking the magnesium SRT. It's down in the description box and that really helps, really helps me. So I take two to four of those a day. Also my Relight, you can get that down in the description box and I'll show you how I make my Relight. I'm gonna make my Relight. Just put one scoop of this into my cup. 
and that has a bunch of sodium and all of the electrolytes you need. So I drink about two or three scoops of this a day and then I just mix it in here and then I add ice. So yum. So go back and watch week two and week one if you're new to this series. You know, I can still feel changes in my body. I feel less inflammation, less bloating. So, you know, just remember, it takes a long time to adjust to carnivore. It's still my first month. And just focus on those non-scale victories, like I said before. And, you know, everything's going good. I feel good. And even though I'm not getting any sleep, I am still feeling a lot better than I would if I was eating carbs. So um, just stick with it for the long run and everything will work out. All right, guys, I hope you liked this video. Please share, subscribe, give a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Check out my Carnivore 30 ebook. We really appreciate it. I would love to have you do the Carnivore Diet with me. This is my guide that I wrote. It's 182 pages. I'm really proud of it. It's an amazing guide. My people who have bought it for me always say that I've thought of everything and that I put every single thing that you could possibly want to know about carnivore in here and um, it's helped so many people. Um, I have a coaching group coming up so message me if you want to sign up for that. I'll put my email down below. All right see you next time. Bye bye!